Hello friends, welcome again to the class. Well friends, today we are going to discuss about introduction to inclusive education. Well friends, as a professional, if you visit to a doctor, a doctor is expected to deal with one patient at a time. If we visit to a lawyer, a lawyer always with one client at a time. Due to the diversity of the problems for which individuals seek assistance from them. But as professionals, we deal with a group of young minds. This idea of providing quality education by valuing the individual need in a group as a unit is called as inclusive education. Now you may be wondering as you are doing it already but there was no name specially given to such a practice. Yes, you are right. We have been giving education to every child despite their diverse background since ancient times. We would prepare them according to their ability, make them self-dependent and socially productive. Of late, we have moved away from this democratic practice due to pressure from various sectors in education. Let us now learn as to what in this inclusive education as conceived by the visionaries in the field of education. Inclusive education is an approach to educate all children. It expects that all learners learn together through access to common educational provisions. The crucial people in the system are parents and community, the teachers, administrators and policy makers. All these people have to be supportive towards the diverse needs of children. It should be seen as an experience rather than a problem. Now friends, what is the need and importance of inclusive education? Well friends, it is the right of every child to get education. The society needs variety of people for the progress of humanity. Inclusive education becomes important to fulfill this. Let us observe the need of inclusive education from different angles from the point of view of human rights. All children have the right to learn together. No one can discriminate children because of their learning ability and social, economical, cultural and family background. Education research shows children do better academically and socially in inclusive settings. Given commitment and support, Inclusive education is a more efficient use of educational resources. All children develop relationship with variety of people around them and this prepares them for life in the mainstream. Inclusive education has the potential to reduce fear and build relationship, friendship, mutual respect, understanding and compassion increases among the fellow individuals. Psychological development of safe and secure feeling in the group confidence in the individual ability among the diversity, inclusive education helps the development of children in different ways. Students with specific changes make gains in physical, cognitive and social development and motor skills. They do well when the general environment is adjusted to meet their needs. Children in the school develop higher levels of tolerance for people with diversities in general and those who are disadvantaged. When we include children from education system, there begins a demarcation in the society. So it is very difficult to include them in the later stages for any purpose in the community. Thus, inclusive education lays the foundation to an inclusive society accepting respecting and celebrating diversity. Now friends, what is the benefit or what are the benefits of inclusive education? Inclusive education can help break the cycle of poverty and exclusion. It also encourages children 
to stay with their families and communities. The school atmosphere can improve to the benefit of all the learners. The practice can help overcome discrimination which is widespread in every sphere of life. It promotes wider inclusion of individuals for the development of the nations. So friends, you may add to the list based on your understanding of inclusive education. Now friends, let us discuss about what are the factors that is affecting inclusive education. Now the first factor can be diversity among the learners. So friends, there is so much of diversity among a group of children belonging to the same age group. Children differ with regard to their home background, motivation and ability to learn personal attributes contributing to success in academics, attitudes, interests and commitments. This wide variety to be addressed as a group for instruction is a difficult task. Secondly, preparedness of the teachers. Identifying that the child has a different need itself is a skill which a teacher has to be equipped with. But the teacher preparation program hardly addresses this issue. To tackle diversity in the classroom on a daily basis, certain specific training is required by the teachers. In our country, this requirement is not fulfilled. Hence, it poses a threat to the implementation of inclusive education. Next important factor is, dear friend, infrastructure. The locations, space and arrangement of a classroom are essential factors to help inclusive education. Most schools of our country are devoid of basic facilities suitable for learning. The location away from noise, rooms with proper ventilation, space for free movement inside and outside the classroom, grounds to play and provision for other co-curricular activities are very essential to support inclusive education. Next factor is availability of resources. Our schools have not yet explored the availability of resources to support children in their process of learning. The teacher is not equipped with the skill of making use of variety of learning materials. Teachers find it difficult to tackle the diverse learning need in the classroom without appropriate materials. The support of professionals is very essential to handle some categories of children. Clinical psychologists, social workers, audiologists, speech language pathologists, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, are required to help in the process of education of some of the children. But we have limited people working in this field, getting expertise to school in a remote areas, especially in rural areas. Next friend is evaluation system. There is no much of rigidity in our pattern of evaluation that the child is assessed wrongly. For diverse learner, there is need to use diversified evaluation system. If a child is not able to write, all other abilities of the child will go unnoticed. If the child requires some other mode of evaluation, other than reading and writing, we are not giving that option to our children. This leads the learner to frustration and they drop out of the education system, a major deterrent to the cause of inclusive education. So friends, I hope that these factors have given you a clear cut idea about the factors responsible or the factors essential for inclusive education. Now friends, the next important thing is how to create an inclusive classroom by making use of learning materials. To bring quality to classroom, the teacher requires materials to support learning. 
any child would fully participate in the learning process if variety of materials is used in the classroom. Like for suppose visual material. Visual material in the form of pictures or photographs has to be used wherever appropriate to support the learning. A picture of seahorse or Taj Mahal would convey much more to a child than words. Pictures of great personalities, pictures of rare animals and plants, photographs of historical places and events would help children imagine in the right direction. Next is about tactual material. Tactual material in the form of real objects or model can make the concept very clear to the students. No amount of lecture and not any picture would explain the structure of a prism as effectively as a model of a prism. Internal organs, three-dimensional geometric figures are best understood with models. Tactual materials could be the real items if they are available easily like a hibiscus flower to explain about the structure of a flower, the real mango to explain the qualities of a king of fruits. Our surrounding environment is also rich in learning materials. Concepts like herbs, sharps, trees, climbers and creepers can be made clear with the plants around us. The exposure to post office, bank and clinic would clarify how the people working there help us. Next friend is about demonstration. Demonstrating experiments with readily available things from our surroundings is another way of making the children learn. A transparent plastic cover and a piece of thread can be used to show transpiration through leaves. Waste card scan be used very effectively to demonstrate the derivation of the theorems and formula for the area of geometric figures. Next friend is about information and communication technology. ICT gives endless options to make use of electronic learning materials. We can compensate for bringing real object to the classroom if we know how to use the computer. In all the schools, the prism may not be there, but we can show three-dimensional pictures of a prism with movement to show the figure from all the sides. The complicated processes of food getting digested inside the body can be shown through a computer multimedia. The electrons participating in different types of chemical bonding can be shown through a demonstration by using auditory, visual and print media by making the assistance from the computer. Now friends, about the teacher made low cost learning materials. Teacher made low cost learning materials are the best to use in teaching. It is nothing but making use of the unwanted or readily available raw materials in our surrounding. Once we start making use of these waste materials for teaching in the classroom, everything around us seems useful. The happiness of children participating in the activity makes the teacher look at each and every things around with her creative mind. The colorful wedding cards take the shape of different type of houses. The seeds from trees around us can make the concept of 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 is meaningful. Let us see this how we can make the students understand about 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Suppose friends, if the teacher wants the children to learn about the meaning of 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, he can utilize or use the seeds of 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and he can give a clear cut idea of this figure. And the idea can be meaningful to the students. The satin ribbons thrown around can make colorful borders to the states of our country. The old magazines are gold mines for collecting learning aids. 
So friends, the list is endless. We can enjoy the difference of ourselves. The varieties of learning materials have a great role in making all the children in a classroom actively participate. It eliminates boredom from the classroom and children start looking forward to come to school every day. Now friends, how to modify the physical environment? Now friends, the place where we live has to be suitable in all respects. If a child in the school has a problem in moving from one place to another, the places may be changed to suit the need of the child. The classroom in the distant corner can be changed close to the main entrance if a child finds it difficult or take enormous time to reach the room. The space inside the classroom is another important aspect to pay attention to. The arrangement of the furniture should not obstruct children to move inside. The seating arrangement has to be made considering the requirement of the children. A child having hearing impairment can be given the place in the first row, preferably in the center. A child requiring the teacher's attention has to be seated in a place which is easily accessible to the teacher. The child who has difficulty seeing in bright light has to be seated in a place where direct light is not falling on his face. The source of noise inside and outside the classroom has to be controlled. A student getting distracted easily must be given a place away from the corridor or window or the main door. The noise making furniture can be fitted with rubber bush. As much as possible, natural light and air has to be utilized. Fan and light disturb some children. The flipping of charts create unnecessary noise which has to be controlled sticking them into the wall. Above all, keeping the surrounding clean and organized is very important. Our role as teacher is vital in maintaining all this. On rotation, children can take the responsibility of cleaning and arranging the classroom. Wall hangings and charts must be displayed with good planning and taste. The cleanliness and orderliness of the room prepares the students to learn. Okay friends, now let's move on to know the adapting simple classroom management techniques. When children with diverse needs are in one room, we have to be prepared for challenges. When we are prepared for challenges, we can make use of techniques depending on the demand of the situation. Yes, our preparedness make all the difference in our daily dealing in the class. Classroom management gets refined with our experiences. With every little time and effort, many of the day-to-day -day difficulties can be handled. All it requires is our love and faith in all our children in the class. Now friends about employing child-friendly evaluation system. The rigid evaluation system is not practical in an inclusive classroom. The evaluation should assess what the child is able to do rather than what the child is not able to do. We should see how it can be addressed in the classroom by teachers to suit every child in the classroom. There may be a child who is unable to read the print material due to difficulties in seeing. Hence, in this regard, the teacher has to make substitution with braille or large print material for evaluation. Some children may not be able to learn any basic academic skills, but they may be having talent in some other area. Here, the teacher has to make use of compensation technique to assist the child. 
it is to assess the child's skills in vocational areas or self care depending on the individual all the recent educational plans and policies have supported a system of education which calls for a halt to saying no to some children for education inclusion is about building the inner strength and mounting confidence among children it is valuing difference immaterial of the limitations imposed due to external factors the focus of the teacher has to be on a practice in schools to respond to the diversity of the students so friends i hope that you have grasped the material properly and you have understood how to impart education in an inclusive classroom and how to take care of the children who have got weaknesses in some areas i hope you had a nice time me too had a nice time being with you thank you very much